Okay, so finally, I wanted to talk about um, kind of performing our short little set with a controller if you've got one. If you don't, you just got to use your mouse and your keyboard, which is totally fine. But if you do have one, it's really fun. And it doesn't need to be an MPD like mine here. It could be any sort of MIDI controller, MIDI keyboard with keys, knobs, um, doesn't really matter. First things first, I think I wanted to switch between my scenes here um, instead of pressing, uh, clicking like this. And I can, I, I reckon I need to uh, arrange these a little bit better, um, you know, but let's just start by, let's not get too hung up on it. Um, I'm just going to disable that clip and with this uh, here, let's just um, disable those so it's a little bit simpler, so it'll sound like this. That'll do for now. Um, to MIDI map these uh, these scenes, one way you can do it is to turn, or firstly, just go to your preferences, uh, go to the MIDI tab and make sure your MIDI controller, in this case, it's the Akai MPD, has um, the input set for track on and remote is on for the input because we want to send in <laughs> from the Akai uh, I think that's right. Let's just do, yeah, that's totally right. Send it in to Ableton from the Akai. So here we go. The track needs to be on and remote needs to be on. Once we've done that, we can turn on MIDI mapping and click on the first scene. And I'm going to click on my MPD, the first uh, pad there. And you can see that mapped to that. And then I'm going to click on the next one. Now this, if you were using a MIDI keyboard, uh, maybe set these to notes. Quite often people would use notes on the keyboard, maybe the top few or the bottom few, ones that you don't play that much. So now that that's mapped, I can leave MIDI mapping mode and simply launch each scene like this. Scene two. Cool. And then back to the third scene. Cool. And then the fourth scene. Cool. And then it's still stopping with the keyboard at this point. I could map something to that, but let's not worry about that for the moment. I want this to kind of be the full beat when we get there. Which one was the full beat? That one. So copying that, pasting that there and turning those kicks back on. All right. What would the next thing be that we want to map? Well, um, without uh, in live, that's live anyway. Let's look at rack. We definitely want to be able to map these, um, these knobs on our bass because that's where all the performance comes in when we're, we're tuning these notes and tweaking these knobs, sorry, on the, um, on the TB303. So we can see we've got a cutoff here. So maybe I'll map that to the knob up the top left. So to do that in Rack, we need to make a new module, search for MIDI. It's part of the core VCV pack, so you don't need to download anything new. Um, and the one we want is MIDI map right here. So there's our MIDI map. I'm going to put that over with my MIDI stuff. Um, and then here you need to select uh, in, a, in a Mac case, core MIDI, and then select the device. I'm going to use my Akai MPD26. It has three ports on it, but we're just going to use the first one. Um, I'm going to receive MIDI from all channels. And then what I need to do is first click the unmapped thing uh, option. It says mapping. Then I need to both click on a parameter. So for instance, the cutoff. And then notice it says base cutoff. Now when I turn that knob, it's assigned it to C16. It also just kept on trying to map C16. So when you're done, just right click on it and it goes away. So now when I turn that knob, woohoo! The bass knob's going here. I mean the cutoff on the bass is going there. So let's launch our oh and the cool thing is now without switching back to Ableton, I can still launch it by pressing 
my scene launcher. There we go. Awesome. Now we're talking. All right, all right. This is getting too fun. Got to stop. Got to stop. Still don't have a stop key on my controller yet. Let's just put that in real quick. Let's see if I can map one of these other buttons. You could map anything. Um, does this send a MIDI message? Yeah, there's actually a button on here that's called stop. Um, it's not set up to do it automatically, but I could enter MIDI mapping mode, click the stop button and then press this button here. Uh, is that going to map it? Maybe not, but I could very easily just do a different one. Perhaps this one up here. There we go. Um, and yeah, that'll do it. Cool. Uh, so now I can play and I can stop. Great. Um, what else did we want? Oh, I just wanted more stuff on here. The resonance needs to be mapped. So click unmap, click resonance. Notice it doesn't have a CC number yet. And then turn the knob you want it to be. This one, there, C17. Awesome. Then I also want uh, um, decay. Um, but not on C17 as well. So that was a mistake. I right click to remove it, click mapping, click decay, and then turn the knob I want to be to the decay. So that one, 15, and then it's doing 15 again here. So I have to right click to remove it, left click to map, and then envelope mod, and then this knob here. Cool. And then for some reason, I have to right click to remove this extra C14. But now I can launch clip and I can cut off resonance decay and envelope from out awesome next clip something to cut off the drums there. Stop. Cool. So again, like in my mind there, I was like, I'd just love to be able to mute the drums for a second and then do a transition. So there's a couple of ways you do that. You could map the mutes here. Um, let's just do volumes. That'll be easy. So let's map command M this volume to the first fader. So I click on the fader. I mean, click on the fader in live and then move that. Make the max volume here zero. Um, then let's do the next fader. I'll move the next fader here. Max volume zero. And then, so that's the kit, the TB303 and then the uh, vocal, vocal sample. Move this one, pop. And then make that zero. What would make sense here? Last thing, maybe some reverbs on the wall just for, for fun. So I'm going to do the reverb on the um, kick I'll put here. The reverb on the TB303 I'll put here. And vocals is there. So exit mapping mode. Now I can do the volume all there and the reverb amount for each of those. Awesome, this is everything we need. Cool, reverb, turn down the drums, take them out, reverb on the TB3 to three. That means I can bring in the next scene um, without drums as well.
want a little bit more over level, overall level on my lead, on my vocals, so just turn the output up. Poor computer. Don't forget, we are also automation, I mean, mapping on here. Plenty of fun to be had. So if you've got a controller, I can't imagine this not being fun. Make a little set, a few couple of scenes, and record a little performance that moves between the two. Can't wait to hear it. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> 